So Jason Tebb, CEO of On The Market, our principal partners for this year's EA Masters. Great to have you with us today. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, Are you excited nice to about to next week? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd be great. Look, I mean, you know, isn't it going to be great that we're going to be, you know, all together in a in a room rather than virtually for the first time in a few years. So I'm really looking forward to it. Absolutely. So Jason, we'll get straight on with the questions. Obviously, your mission statement at On The Market is about listening, about innovating and delivering. So let's go through those three. How are on the market listening? Well, I think one of the most important things we've done since I came on board in very late 2020 is start to engage with our customers. I felt very strongly as an ex-agent myself who's been who was an agent for nearly 20 years. I felt that as the portals in general got larger, they became increasingly removed from the customer base. And so we did the opposite to what most businesses do in this space, and we decided to engage directly with the, the customers. So we started our listening tour, um, which commenced, I think, February 21. And since then, we've done over 50 of these um, uh, town hall meetings, as we call them, where multiple agents come on, sometimes 50, 60, 70 together in a virtual room. They all come on, on to these calls and we have no agenda. We have no script. Um, all we do is simply say, what do you need and want from us? What do we have to deliver for you? And that's, I think that's been so crucial in how we've managed to develop our business from where it was 18 months or so ago to where it is today, because we are listening to our customer base and they are telling us what they want and need. And many of the functions, features, um, processes, systems, and our commercial partnerships have come as a direct result of that feedback that we've received from our customer base. So really, from our perspective, it's about listening to our customers, but also listening to our consumers too. And we've been engaging again over the past 12 months with our consumers. When a, a user visits our site, if they've been on for a minute or more, they get the opportunity to provide direct feedback. And we've been taking those subgroups, putting them into working groups and really nailing down on what the consumer wants as well. So we believe now we've got a process where our, uh, we're listening to our customers, we're listening to our consumers and developing the portal for the future that suits both parties. And those town hall meetings must be so interesting as well. Like, have, have you found out anything unexpected from them? Well, they're never dull because they're not <laughs> scripted. I never present anything. There's no sales pitch. I avoid talking about our product features or service. It's really just to open up to them. What I have been surprised by is how much support we've had and you know how much the agency community really wants this business to continue to, to grow and to develop. Um, I've been really surprised by how active people have been in providing feedback. You know, Some of our agents in particular have taken so much additional time um, out of their valuable days to provide us with information that might be useful, with suggestions and concepts. And as I said earlier, many of the things that we've done have come as a direct result of that customer base telling us what they want. So I've been really surprised and humbled, if I'm honest, by the way that our agency community are supporting us and continue to do so. That's fantastic and such a direct link to my next question, in fact, as well, which is how are on the market innovating? Well, we've done a, a, a great deal in a very short space of time. So I promised um, in February 21, I said when I had my first interview with Peter Knight, I said by the end of this calendar year, I'll have a new brand, a new website, a new suite of products, features and functionality. And I finished that interview and I thought, oh dear, I hope <laughs> I'm going to be able to deliver that in time. But actually, to be fair, not yet down to me, down to the incredible work of my team, by the 17th of December, we had delivered on all of those things. So we have now a brand new brand that's fresh and clean and engaging. We have a brand new website, which we've built from the ground up with a host of new features, products, functionality designed to really help consumers interact with the site and make property search as simple and as easy as possible. We now have a whole suite of commercial partners, over 10 commercial partners now that we've built in a really short space of time all of these will I would be considering to be best in class products and services across that property ecosystem. And we've been able to deliver that either as part of the, the membership fee offering incredible value to our customer base 
or indeed a light version of that product that they could upgrade to if they wanted to do so. So I think in a really short space of time, we've been able to really start to differentiate ourselves as a tech enabled property business, really start to forge our own path because after all, we are the agent's portal. We are 60% agent owned. We massively value that agent ownership as do our agents. And that means that we should be innovating. We should be doing things that make their job easier, quicker or more cost effective. And we're really pleased on the things we've delivered so far, but there's so much more still to come. Absolutely. And then just on to the final maxim of on the market, how are you delivering? Um, well, we, we, you know, we are on a, on a journey here. You know, this is something that I see as being a five to seven year plan to really start to gain traction in all of those operational metrics. If you look where we are year on year to our last results, we're up 32% in terms of our revenue. We're also up 32% in terms of our average revenue per our advertiser. And we're up 13% in our adjusted operating profit. That's good if you are an agent as a shareholder, because you'll see that the business now is profitable and cash generative for the first time. We're starting to really grow exponentially in all of those operational metrics too. So I think from a delivering perspective, if you are an agent customer who is a shareholder, you know now that the business is in safe hands, it's solid, it is growing, and that enables us to do and develop much more product and features in the future. I think if also if you're a customer, you will have seen Seen over the last 12 months increasing value to the core membership. I mean, I would argue now that already we provide enough things as part of our membership to pay for the subscription fee on its own. All of our commercial partnerships and our relationships that we've built, all of the new products and features that we've managed to, to, to build and launch over that time. So we're in a really good place in terms of the, the business, in terms of the financial operational metrics, but we're just getting started in terms of where we want to be in the future. I see the future of this business as a one-stop shop for estate agents where they can come to on the market and they can choose a number of products and services from us across the entire property ecosystem. So we've done a great job. The team have, have worked really hard, but we're really just getting started. Well. Honestly, Jason, your enthusiasm for it all is absolutely palpable and infectious, and it's exciting to see where it's going to go in the next few years. Um, my final question is, as, of course, our principal partner at EA Masters, how are you and your team getting ready for next week? Um, my team are, are actively getting ready um, and have spent a hell of a lot of time making sure that the stand looks great, that our, you know, that our marketing material looks great. And we have you know, a big cohort of, of our team coming. And so I'm really pleased that we've managed to get so many of our guys and girls to, to, the, to the event. Um, I think we've thought really carefully about you know, our position. Obviously, we're, we're super proud to be the principal partner. Um, and I think that that really means that we are now demonstrating that we are in a different place as a business. We are starting to forge our own path and own our own lane in terms of how we are perceived as a portal and as a wider property services business too. So I think our teams are really excited about it. They've been working really hard and we can't wait. Fantastic stuff. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much for your time today, Jason. Pleasure. Thanks very much. Thank you.